in this video I'm going to discuss difference between compiler and interpreter so this is a very basic question in computer field what is the difference between compiler and interpreter so uh, I'm going to discuss these differences with help of a real-life example so let's say in real life situation we are having two person person A person B now the thing is that they don't understand each other language this person doesn't understand language of B and B doesn't understand language of A so what we need here we need a converter so what this converter will do it will convert language from A to B or B to A so now this person can use two kind of approaches one approach like one one sentence at a time one sentence at a time and another approach he can use uh, he can allow a person like let's say a want to talk to B so whatever A wants to say he will say he will complete all its conversation and then C will take all his sentences and convert it into the language of B so second one is process all so now in case of compiler or interpreter uh, whatever language we are using those languages are considered high level languages and the computer doesn't understand that language so we need a way to convert our program from those languages to in the language of computer so here comes the role of compiler and interpreter so let me take first compiler so when we write a program let's say we have written a program and these are instructions so what compiler will do compiler will convert or will process entire program okay so compiler will process entire program now when we say process what's the meaning of this one compiler will check whether you have written a correct program or not so it will check entire program for error so let's say it finds out that this statement is correct correct there is one error this one correct and there is also one error so first thing it will show you errors in your entire program okay so uh the processing is done at whole program level not one by one and if there is, are any errors your compiler will show all of those errors to you now let's say there are no such error you have corrected your program so let's say this is a new program and compiler finds that all statements are correct so now what compiler will do compiler will convert this code into a machine code machine code or object code okay so once this compilation is done what we are having this machine code and every time you want to execute your code you just simply need this one so this file actually is saved in your hard disk as well this object code and this object code is directly executed by your machine okay so uh when there are no errors our code is converted into a machine code and this code is directly executable on our systems hardware now the thing is that this machine code or object code has some linking to do like if we have used some libraries in our program 
if we have called some function those functions are coming from other libraries so at this level some linking has to be done now in order to do those linking we need memory okay this entire program has to be loaded in memory and uh, whatever uh, functions or modules we have used those modules also has to be in memory so the memory requirement for compiler is more more memory requirement okay and uh, the last thing is that this machine code once we have this machine code we can directly execute our program we don't need this source code anymore okay and this code is actually in machine this is a machine code this is in the language which your machine can understand so the execution will be faster okay faster execution so these are the things with compiler now if we look at the interpreter so in case of interpreter let me where is it okay so so let's say this is a program written in a interpreted language so what your interpreter will do interpreter will take one sentence at a time okay so interpreter how interpreter works one sentence at a time or one instruction not sentence one instruction at a time so your interpreter will check whether this one is correct so in case if this is correct this instruction actually converted into a intermediate format now what is this intermediate format whether this is a machine code no this is not a machine code this is a you can say some other language other than this this one now this intermediate code this intermediate uh, instruction this actually executed on interpreter okay so whatever this instruction converted whatever this in the instruction is in high level language the same instruction is coded in some other language some intermediate code now interpreter will do that task okay so one instruction at a time now let's say in this program there is one error at this point of time so what will happen interpreter will take first instruction convert into intermediate code run it second convert it run it third so as soon as it will find an error it will show that error and stop okay so in case of interpreter show only only one error so the first error whatever that error is whenever that error come it will stop okay so one instruction at a time show only one error and memory requirement so if we talk about memory requirement the memory requirement in case of interpreter is less because there is no linking okay so less memory requirement now what about uh, execution so every time you want to execute your interpreted language code that source code every instruction has to be converted into intermediate code and then that code is executed so the faster as compared to compiled language it's slower as you can see why this is slow because each time 
every instruction has to be converted than executed but in case of compiled language once a code is compiled and if you ha have hold on that compiled code you can easily execute your program and that execution also faster but here every time you execute the same process has to be repeated again and again so these are the differences between compiler and interpreter thank you very much for watching